Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at three most frequently asked string based coding questions from the Accenture coding round. We will discuss about the problems to understand them first and then write a code to crack them. Also make sure to watch it till the end as these questions are often asked in other MNCs as well. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys is I have created a mini series where I will be posting tutorials on latest Accenture coding questions. So make sure to check it out. Now without wasting much time let's get started. So the first problem is the anagram strings. Now this is a pretty common question but can sometimes seem tricky to solve. So let's see what it is about. Here basically we are given two strings or sentences. But to understand it let's keep things simple. Let's say we have two strings first is race and another is care. Can you observe something in both of these strings? Let me give you another example. Three and there. Can you spot some connection? Both the pairs contain same alphabets but in different orders. Like in race and care we have the same alphabets with same number of frequency. Similarly in three and there we have two is one t and one h. So that's what anagrams are. A word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of another word or phrase using all of the letters. So let's see how we can solve this question. Now since we know that anagram strings contain the same letters and also frequency of the letters is equal. So a simple approach is to convert the strings to arrays. So first let's convert these strings into character array using the built in to char array method. So here I will convert both the strings into character array. Next we have all the letters in the strings into our character array. Now we need to check if both of them contain the same letters with same frequency. Can you think of a way to do it? You might have come up with a solution where we will check both the arrays using a loop. But let me tell you a simple way to do it. First we will sort the arrays. This will make sure that all the letters are in alphabetical order. Now what this will do is group all the repeating letters together in such a way that it makes our task easy. So to sort the arrays we will use arrays.sort method. This will sort our arrays. So now we are almost done. Now after the arrays are sorted we need to check if both of them are equal. Also if they are equal we need to return yes. Otherwise if they are not equal then we need to return no. So for that we will use ternary operator along with arrays.equals method. So first let's write arrays.equals method and pass our arrays. Now what this will do is check if both the arrays are equal and return boolean true or false. So this is the condition part of our ternary operator. Then we will write question mark followed by two results. So now we know that we need to return yes if the condition is true or no if it isn't. So we will give yes followed by colon then no. What this means is if the condition part is true then return yes otherwise return no. So that's the code to solve this question. Let's try it out. We will give two strings. Let's give race and care. You can see that the output is yes. Now let's give take and eat. It gives us output as no. Now let's see another example. Let's now give heart and earth. It is giving us no but both the strings are anagram. Then what went wrong? Now since we are storing the letters of the string as characters, when we check if E is equal to capital E or H is equal to capital H, both of these letters will have different ASCII values. So we need to add one more thing in our code that is before converting the string to array, first convert the string into lowercase to make sure we don't get unexpected result. Now let's try our code again. Now this time you can see we are getting yes as the output. So guys let's now see another problem. So the next problem is reverse the string. This is a classic coding question. Here we need to return the reverse string. That means if we are given a string like stars, then we need to return the reverse of it. So what do you think is the most lazy yet ideal way of doing this? We will start from the end of the string and store each letter from end to start in another string. It's simple, isn't it? So first let's create an empty string. Then we will create a for loop which starts from the last character that is str length minus 1, which is the index of the last element. 
then we will go till i become 0 in the loop we will append the string with character using caret method and then after the loop terminates we just return the string now if you are new to java then you should know that strings in java are immutable now what does it mean well every time we append a new character to a string a new string is created in the memory that means a string cannot be changed once it is created so to change it a new string is created in the memory so this leads to increased memory usage now this will not consume a lot of memory in our case but it will still be better if we can optimize our code so as we know that strings in java are immutable we have a class called string builder which lets us create mutable strings so let's make some changes to our code first we will create an object of string builder then to add every element from the string we will make use of the append method which will add new element at the end of the string if you want to check if a new string is been created or not every time we append a character insert a print line with argument as string.hashcode method so now our code is complete let's test it out let's give some string cool our code is working fine now let's see the final coding problem which is replace characters in a string so in this question we have a string and two characters let's say the characters are c1 and c2 what we need to do is if we find any character in a string which is same as c1 then we will change it to c2 and if it is same as c2 then we will change it to c1 and then return the updated string so let's see the code first let's create an object of string builder class now you must be thinking when should we use string builder and when to use normal string class so it totally depends on the use case if you need to frequently change your string then you can use the string builder class since their objects are mutable unlike objects of string class okay so now we will create a loop and check every character in that string so first we will check if the character is equal to c1 and if it is true then we will append c2 in the string builder string or if it is equal to c2 then append c1 to the string finally if the current character is not equal to c1 or c2 then we will just append the current character to our string now after the for loop terminates we will return our string but since it is of type string builder we will convert it to string type using to string method so that's the code let's check the output let's give some string and two characters okay so the code has correctly replaced both the characters with each other so thanks for watching this tutorial and i hope you guys must have enjoyed it now why don't you watch another Accenture coding round question by clicking on the video to the left and also make sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss any update.